today we will do hysterectomy for the fibroid uterus it's a total abdominal hysterectomy so let's start so to perform the hysterectomy we will give the phenesteel incision in the lower abdomen first of all we are palpating the bulky uterus due to fibroids ideally this was a case of fibroid uterus for which we are doing hysterectomy so we have given incision in the lower midline it is also known as a phenesteel incision or the smiley shaped incision because it's shape looks like the smiley so now we are deepening our incision with the help of the electrocautery using its coagulation mode it will also secure bleeding so in the abdomen first of all we will find skin then after that two layer of the superficial fascia are there one is fatty other is membranous membranous is also known as scarpa's fascia so till now we are deepening our incision and after that we will make the plane between the rectus sheet we will make two flaps one is above and other is below for the best exposure now we are cutting the rectus sheet so rectus sheet has two layers in the lower abdomen i am telling this point because in the closure of this operation we will consider this thing that uh, we will pick both the layers of the rectus sheet after that we will open the midline i must tell you at this step that uh, we are performing total abdominal hysterectomy in this case with bilateral salpingo oophorectomy other types of the hysterectomy are also there like vaginal hysterectomy most of the time we use vaginal hysterectomy for the uterine prolapse so at this step i must tell you about the indications basically other indications of the hysterectomy uh, in this case we are uh, going for the fibroid uterus but in other cases like endometriosis uterine prolapse cancer of the uterus cervix or the ovaries vaginal bleeding especially dysfunctional uterine bleeding in 20% cases and uncontrolled pph we are doing hysterectomies also now on the second you are seeing that we have opened the midline and we are also taking too much care to secure the bleeding and now after that we have taken out the uterus so while proceeding our procedure we will make first of all a window in the broad ligament now we are applying the hysterectomy screw to lift it up so well uh, i was discussing that we will ligate two pedicles on both the sides first of all we will make window in the broad ligament after that we will apply two clamps so in the first pedicle there will be the three structures first is round ligament other is infundibulo pelvic ligament and third is meso salpingeal veins now we are creating the window in the broad ligament and we will apply clamps after that we will ligate and cut so now i am applying the second clamp so well uh, we are proceeding in our procedure i was discussing about the other methods of hysterectomy first of all i have discussed the total abdominal hysterectomy then i was telling you that there is also type of hysterectomy which is known as vaginal hysterectomy in case of abdominal hysterectomy there are two types of hysterectomies are there one is total abdominal hysterectomy other is sub total abdominal hysterectomy in case of vaginal hysterectomy there is laparoscopically assisted vaginal hysterectomy and other is total laparoscopic hysterectomy then two other forms of the hysterectomy are also there one is the laparoscopic hysterectomy and other is cesarean hysterectomy so you are seeing on the screen clearly again we are applying the clamps cutting and after that ligating these pedicles which include three structures 
राउंड लिगामेंट इन फंडी बुलो पेल्विक लिगामेंट एंड द मीजो सल्पिंजियल वेन्स वी आर परफॉर्मिंग बोथ द स्टेप्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स सो वी आर मोपिंग द एरिया वी आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ हीमोस्टेसिस आल्सो सो वाइल वी आर प्रोसीडिंग आई मस्ट टेल यू व्हिच रूट इज बेस्ट डेफिनेटली एवरी रूट हैज इट्स ओन प्रोज एंड कॉन्स सो इन केस ऑफ एडमिनल एब्डोमिनल हिस्टेक्टमी it results in the greatest mean blood loss and it has the highest incidence of febrile morbidity and the abdominal wound infection definitely it will be there and the longest hospitalization stay and slowest to recover we use a vaginal hysterectomy when a root is technically possible and third is laparoscopic hysterectomy the only pros and the cons we are discussing here that it requires training and the equipment its operating time is more but the shortest hospital stay and recovery but has the greatest overall risk of complications there is a debate about this cost effectiveness especially in our country like pakistan resource poor country so we cannot perform laparoscopic hysterectomy on every patient so on the second you are saying that uh, we have also ligated these pedicles and securing the bleeding also so meanwhile we were discussing the types of hysterectomy in case of sub total hysterectomy we will remove uterine body only in case of total hysterectomy we will remove uterine body and the cervix we will not remove ovaries and the hysterectomy with bso like in our case we will remove uterus and the bilateral salpingo oophorectomy and the fourth option is radical or the vertheme hysterectomy it is a total hysterectomy with pelvic lymph nodes para cervical tissue and the upper one third of vagina it is also removed now we are separating bladder uh, you are clearly seeing you must uh, take uh, too much care to save this to save the injury of the bladder as well as ureter meanwhile uh, we are performing the operation so in a simplified way we can elaborate the type of hysterectomy one is partial hysterectomy in which you remove two third of the uterus total hysterectomy you remove uterus and the cervix and finally third is the radical hysterectomy in which you remove uterus cervix and the vagina now we are going to our uh, next step in which we will ligate uterine artery and the uterine vein after applying clamps and cutting the pedicle between them at this step we will remain very close to the uterus and we will remain very conscious as major bleeding might occur at this point if we are not conscious or if we are not careful so meanwhile we are proceeding our procedure we are cutting the pedicle between the two clamps after that we will take free tie we will ligate both the pedicles in this pedicle uterine artery is there and uterine veins are also there in the cardinal ligament or mecan dot ligament so we will perform this procedure on both the sides meanwhile i must tell you something about the post operative care after abdominal hysterectomy it is not necessary to leave a bladder catheter in place post operatively and iv fluids you will give for the first 24 hours to ensure that patient remains well hydrated early feeding of the regular diet can stimulate the bowel and decrease the length of hospitalization and then deep breathing to prevent the atelectasis embolization is also encouraged intermittent compression boots you will give after that adequate control of the post operative pain it is the important concern definitely so you are clearly seeing that uh, now again we are applying the clamps on the other side in the uterine artery uterine vein in the cardinal ligament and we will cut and we will ligate these pedicle these structures after that we will remove the at the level of cervix we will remove both the ovaries and the fallopian tube also so that's why it's known as total abdominal hysterectomy with bilateral salpingo oophorectomy the advantages of the total hysterectomy it provides the better drainage of the operative area and if the cervix is lacerated or the infected 
the source of irritant discharge is also removed in this case definitely like uh, every procedure has uh, got complications so over this procedure has also got some of the complications so some of them are the intraoperative complications like due to inexpertise or lack of knowledge you might damage the ureter and you might damage the bladder you might damage the bowel you might get bowel perforation last but not the least hemorrhage is also there arterial bleed from the uterine arteries are the ovarian vessels it's the devastating thing and blind clamping of vessel you can have the risk of the ureteral injury now we are applying the morris for the better exposure when we are palpating the cervix and the lower edge of the uterus and after that we will cut the cervix so meanwhile we were discussing the complications we have discussed the intraoperative complications and now i will discuss the post operative complications of the abdominal hysterectomy meanwhile you are seeing on the screen that we are cutting at the lower end we will take cervix and in the video you will clearly see the circumferential area of the cervix that we have to remove this in uh, in this case so again we are securing the bleeding meanwhile we are proceeding in our procedure let's uh, discuss some of the post -oper post operative complications of the abdominal hysterectomy so first complication is the shock and other is hemorrhage it can cause anemia also wound infection is also reported which is also known as wound dehiscence intestinal complication like acute gastric dilatation is also reported and in some cases uh, you will see the pulmonary complication like bronchitis pneumonia pulmonary collapse and due to lung like uh, simple posture you can uh, develop venous thrombosis like deep vein thrombosis and also definitely we are using using the anesthetic drugs and anesthetic complications are also there like cyanosis and the vomiting and remote complications like vaginal discharge uh, like infection vaginal vault prolapse and lower back or uh, ache may be there and menopausal complications definitely hormonal changes will be there like sadness irritability especially in the younger females depression might occur and the sexual dysfunction is also reported and finally if your operative technique is not too much good if you are not taking the rectus sheet completely and you are leaving the defects then incisional hernia might occur so till now we are ligating all the blood vessels we are ligating the pedicles we are securing the bleeding and after that we will remove the uterus with cervix and you will see the circumferential i will show you now with the help of the cautery i am opening this area and i am removing the cervix with it now you will see the circumferential area in this case this one basically this is the cervix after that this opened area of upper vagina we will close it in some cases which uh, we use vaginal hysterectomy technique in which uterus is removed through the vagina it is less invasive than the abdominal hysterectomy in c and site at the inner vagina you will give hospital stay is only 1 to 3 days and recovery time is 4 to 6 week cervix it cannot be preserved in this case now well we have removed the uterus we have removed the ovaries we have removed the fallopian tubes so this is the total abdominal hysterectomy with the bilateral salpingo oophorectomy alhamdulillah successfully completed this procedure you are seeing on your screen clear cut these structures you are identifying these structures you are identifying the ovaries now we will close the incision definitely we will close in the way we have opened in this step basically we are closing this stump now we will close middle end with the help of the cat cut we will take two to three stitches and we will take care of the gut because it is just lying just behind and after that we will be very conscious in closing the rectus sheet it has got two layers and we will 
close two layers otherwise there is a chance of hernia formation so meanwhile we were discussing that we can also perform this procedure vaginally so some of the indications they are uterine prolapse and the dysfunctional uterine bleeding and some cases of the cancer body are also there now finally we are towards the end of our procedure almost we have closed the rectus we have closed the no 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 now we are closing the rectus you are clearly seeing the whitish uh, structure which we are closing it so as we have discussed the abdominal hysterectomy vaginal hysterectomy so there is also category of the hysterectomy which is laparoscopic hysterectomy which is the advanced technique in which you will remove the uterus in sections through the small and cn using the laparoscope in this way the benefit which i am saying that hospital stay is very less it is only 1 to 3 days and recovery time is 4 to 6 week but in my sense there is longer duration of the procedure you need more expertise you need more experience and uti urinary tract injuries are more common in case of laparoscopic hysterectomy and few abdominal wall uh, infections are the febrile episodes they are also reported meanwhile we are closing the rectus sheet above and below <coughs> but one advantage uh, i am seeing in the laparoscopic it is less blood loss is there as uh, world is getting advanced uh, and some advanced center we are also doing robotic surgery it's the three dimensional image you can give greater articulation is there it eliminates the hand tremors that you are using the robotic arms and there was a the precise and they use the artificial intelligence there is increased accuracy and the precision <coughs> most common system uh, which is used in the world it is the da vinci surgical system it was successfully used in 1997 in belgium overall side effects of the hysterectomy it is the early onset of menopause cardiovascular disease osteoporosis because the hormones they protect from the cardiac diseases and there is also chance of uncontrolled urination reduced libido is also reported in the vaginal dryness they are all problem so now we are at the very last step we are closing the fat we are taking inverted stitches and at the end you are clearly seeing that it looks like this smiley that's why it's also known as the smiley shaped in cn and finally we are closing with the help of the stapler this is the final view and at the end we will do antiseptic dressing and we will call the patient for the follow up meanwhile we will admit the patient for under observation so finally if you like our content then for more content subscribe this page subscribe this channel and do support this channel and thank you so much for your valuable time spending here hope you have been benefited from this content thank you so much